And this is my original music school. My home church in Orange, New Jersey, where I grew up. This particular church is a unique black church. The pedal steel is the main instrument in our church. So sacred steel is having the pedal steel being played in church like no other place that you've heard it sound or played in the world. Steel guitar began as a lap guitar because it used to set in, in the lap. Then it became a lap guitar with stands. And then as technology improved and developed, here comes the foot pedals. Man, it took the steel guitar to a whole different genre. We used to have to sit on the sidelines over there and watch and learn. And we couldn't play until we got good enough. Ever since he was born, very anointed, very smart. Rob is not a talented musician. He's a gifted musician. At a young, early age, Rob could do things that most seasoned musicians couldn't even do. It was a gift from God, actually. He came to church one day. It was a Friday night, I'll never forget it. And he started playing, and I'm telling you, almost fell out. Unbelievable. I was like, oh, maybe I could be somebody one day. There was this thing called the Sacred Steel Convention. And it was the first time where they said, hey, you know, we're gonna have all of the Church of Steel players. Word was like getting out like, hey man, these guys might be giving out record deals. At that same convention, I met a guy who two years later would then become my first music manager. Those are the cool memories, man, you know? Even when we started playing out in some of the clubs in New York and New Jersey, we would still come back here Sunday morning, play old school revivals. Gospel music is the most important music in the history of the world, but gospel music means a good word. At the end of the day, it's music. You know, we play music to make people feel better. you walk into this church building, the ultimate goal is to not leave out of here the same person that you walked in. It's important for black artists like myself to stick to those roots, keep the music going, and hey, maybe one day I'll be 80, 90 years old like B.B. King, still playing until he dies. During Black History Month, it's a great thing to see a young black guy that was able to grow up spend his life in the church, get his talent from God to use in the church, that other black men and women could see him rise to the top and still keep his roots.